Welcome everyone back to Weekly Weather Updates, and in this evening's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar, we'll have a look at the weather warning, so we do have a snow warning for Boxing Day, and then we'll have a look at the UK Metaverse Run, have a look at what we're going to be seeing over the festive period in terms of temperature and precipitation, and we'll finish up looking at the longer range models with the GFS, the GM, the ECMWF, and the GFS ensembles, and it's looking like we could be seeing some incredible amount of warmth potentially towards the end of this month into the start of January with temperatures potentially getting into the mid-teens and we'll see how that does come about. So do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow on Twitter as well the links in the description. First of all I want to say um, Merry Christmas to everyone it is Christmas Eve at the moment I will be getting a video out tomorrow but it most likely will be of course in the evening so I hope everyone has a good Christmas um, and isn't too caught up with any of the um, current disruption, let's just say, from the virus. Um, and unfortunately, on the weather side, you can see with the live radar that it is pretty miserable. The snow we were potentially looking at a few days ago has really diminished from the model output. And as I said, it is going pretty mild and if not very, very mild, if not warm, towards the end of the month. You can see how we do have bands of rain heading up from the south. And initially what the models were showing about five, six, seven days ago was this band of rain coming up against bitterly cold air, which is positioned just over Scandinavia. And you can see that bitterly cold, wintry air mass producing a lot of convective showers into parts of Norway. And you can see it isn't too far away from the UK. However, we'll sort of flirt with the east coast and the north. And that's why we do have the potential for seeing some wintry flakes tomorrow. Maybe Midlands, northern England, northwards. But generally, things are looking pretty, pretty rainy uh, over the course of this evening, Christmas Eve. But tomorrow... It does look like rain and uh, rain will be confined to the far southwest, and we'll see with the UK metaphors around in a minute. But there could be showers moving northwards, and we could see a technical white crisp. It's not expecting any significant accumulations at all, but maybe some snowflakes in a few spots in the Midlands, northern England, maybe Scotland. Again, mainly high, over higher ground before the milder air really does take over um, after boxing baby you can see it is a pretty miserable christmas eve out there for many parts of england wales northern ireland and this will be heading northwards these bands of rain now if we do have a look at the uk met office um warnings you can see there are yellow warnings out for snow on sunday but you can see it's the usual sort of areas whenever we do see marginal snow over the high ground of southern scotland and northern england Snow and strong winds will probably affect some higher elevations, leading to possible disruption, mainly due to travel. It's from the early hours of Boxing Day, so you could start to see some snow fall on Christmas Day, and that's why there could be a technical white Christmas, and it will expire at midday on Sunday. So if you are planning anything um, on Boxing Day, any travel in the morning, make sure you stay up to date with the warnings uh, and have a have a close look at the radar as well um because maybe it might not be raining uh sorry snowing where you are however if you go over high, any higher ground you could see some snow and some disruption every rain will move northwards turn to snow over high parts of northern england and then southern and central scotland couple of strong winds gusting 35 to 45 miles per hour we can see two so, uh, we can see heavy snow and some travel um, disruption across higher Pennine and Cumbrian routes as well as southern uplands during the early hours of Sunday could be temporary blizzard like conditions but mainly over three or four hundred meters so it is really the higher uh, ground um, and it all down to that colder undercut that we'd hoped would come much further southwards and come to low level lying areas but it is, does look like it is not going to do that so if you do have a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look at what it's showing over the next five days. You can see early this morning we did see some snow over parts of Scotland. And then you can see that rain band heading up from the south over course this afternoon into the evening. And you can see it just lingers throughout tonight. So when Santa's delivering presents early hours of the morning does look like, especially in eastern areas, maybe encountering some rain and parts of southwest England as well. As we head through Christmas Day, you can see again, the rain is mainly in the southwest, maybe some snow over northern parts of Wales, and that rain will spread northwards and further inland throughout the afternoon of Christmas Day. Heavy, heavy rain for many along this weather front throughout the late hours of Christmas Day. So if you are doing any travelling tomorrow evening after you've done your Christmas celebrations, 
do make sure you uh, sort of keep up to date with the radar because it does it look you can see it quite a defining front so really nothing and then suddenly a band of very heavy rain and there could be of course potentially snow over higher routes that band of precipitation moves northwards see snow over higher routes before it slowly diminishes away and by boxing day things turn showery and then you can see generally things don't look too bad through the rest of Christmas week before as we get towards the 29th, the big mass of rain. Again, these things will subtly shift around as low pressure centres do shift by each run. But it is looking pretty miserable for some over the next week. But as we have a look at the two metre temperatures, you'll be able to see it is pretty mild. Now, as I said, the cold air is lingering further northwards, that cold air that could have got further southwards on some of the models uh, about five days ago, but not showing it anymore, of course. You can see cold air across the north today, around freezing, if not slightly below freezing. And ahead uh, over the course of this evening, mild, seven or eight degrees in the south, minus three or four in the north. And through Christmas morning, really quite chilly across the north of England into Scotland as well. And by sort of peak hours tomorrow afternoon, you can see it is chilly generally, 3 p.m. on Saturday. Many parts of England, Wales, Northern Ireland, Scotland, hovering just a couple degrees above freezing and some areas below freezing as that cold air inches southwards. But as we'll see over the next day or two on this run, it doesn't make much progress. And that band of rain and precipitation moves further north, introducing milder air once again. And by... Uh, early as Sunday, freezing across northern England and Scotland, but by Sunday afternoon, 9 or 10 degrees in the south, so warming up quite significantly. And by Monday the 27th, widely 5, 6, 7, 8 degrees, not many areas below freezing. Uh, overnight could be, again, some frost here or there, because remember it is end of December, so even a chilly air mass, nothing massively cold, can cause quite a cold night. By Tuesday 28th, three o'clock in the afternoon you can see windy five to eight degrees so nothing massively mild nothing massively cold the real warm-up we could be eventually seeing you're starting to see it on the five day at the 29th of december see that mild so 13 14 degrees in the far southwest out across the atlantic that will be heading towards the uk and it looks like we could be breaking potentially day um temperature records um where we see temperatures maybe getting up to around 14 15 degrees so if we do have a look at the GFS, see how that sort of come, gets that to come about, you can see the blocking we do have to our north that is trying to force cold air towards us, but not going to happen with the jet stream powering back up. And we're seeing generally mild westerly winds. As we head towards the 28th, 29th, you see low pressure in the Atlantic, higher pressure trying to build up once again over Europe. And we bring up this balmy, and I mean balmy, southerly wind. 10 degree ice foam gets over the top of the UK. And that would give temperatures in the summer, mid to high 20s, but being winter, maybe only 14, 15 degrees. Now, as we move back through, you can see generally that high pressure stays to our south and we keep getting the southerly blast of air. And that continues throughout the last few days of December. One thing I do want to point out, um, I know some people will be very disappointed seeing really mild weather. Statistically, actually, milder weather can precede um, colder weather because we see warm air convection where warm air is pumped further northwards and it can allow blocking to sort of get going again over the North Pole. So we could be seeing this developing into a cold spell potentially in the longer term and the atmosphere is primed for blocking. So even though the model output at this stage, up to day 10, isn't showing anything too substantial in terms of blocking, the potential really is there still as we head through January. Because I know some people will say, oh, this is it, milder weather for the rest of the winter. I'll definitely tell you right now that that will not be the case. We will see more cold potential over the next few weeks, the next couple months. Um, just at the moment, it's just not quite coming off. Beyond that, we do see that milder air eventually sub sort of subside with westerly winds taking back over and as i said beyond day 10 we start to build up a scandinavian high so the general long-term pattern still is for northern blocking even though over the next week it's not going to come off we see that scandinavian high trying to build and we do get 
an easterly wind. Now, it's not full-blown beast from the east, but it would be minus 5, maybe the minus 10 line getting through, and these little sliding lows there would be cold enough for snow. And you can see eventually that blocking does break down, but of course this is right in the longer term. So we're not taking this literally, this is not what's going to exactly happen by any means. But as I said, the long term pattern still is for blocking to be in control. And that's something we do need to keep um, remembering because the sort of the seven day outlook really doesn't look good if you're wanting any wintry weather. Um, it looks pretty... Um, pretty spring-like really with warm south to southwesterly winds but if you enjoy if you enjoy warmer weather where you can maybe go out without your big coat then it's perfect for next week really however there may be rain at times but as i said blocking still coming up potentially at the end of the model output and it's something we just have to keep an eye on throughout january i definitely do suspect it will play a major factor in our january weather just not at this stage because it's not in the model um, sort of output in the shorter range now if we do have a look at the gm which goes out to day 10 you can see again very similar over the next few days with the westerly winds and then we pull up that balmy south the south westerly wind in the far south it is likely to be um pretty dry further northwards we may see more rain with it um, as we have more of a temperature contrast precipitation forms weather fronts you can see though really quite balmy and if we have a look at the temperature deviation really quite hot air um, for this time of year really 10 to 15 degrees at 850 hpa pumping up in the south wouldn't be surprised to see areas in spain maybe some france italy even getting them into the 20s maybe 20 degrees is very possible but for the uk maybe 14 15 degrees max beyond that westerly winds do take back over and right at day 10, if we go back to the pressure charts, you can see there is still quite a few pockets of blocking to our north. Nothing coming off at this stage, but as I said, the general trend still is for some blocking. Now, if we do have a look at the ECBF, the midnight run, you can see again, generally, the low pressure is going to be winning out in the Atlantic. Then we see those balmy, balmy southerly winds, um, really quite mild, um, and we again could be seeing temperatures in around 14, 50 degrees before it does look like rain potentially um will sort of disturb it from the west as low pressure does move back in but of course as i said north and western areas we'll see balmy temperatures but we'll probably see more rain with it beyond that again towards day 10 you see general blocking to our north nothing too major and again if we have a look at the northern hemisphere outlook you can see lots of incursions in the north pole the tropospheric polar vortex is not organized by any means although the jet stream is dominating uh, the weather for the UK at this stage, it is not likely um, to sort of remain this way. We're going to see some incursions by blocking, and we've just got to keep an eye on when it does come out. As as we saw with the colder output we've had earlier this week, and over the last week or so, it disappeared very quickly within the model output, and colder runs can very much appear that quickly in the model output we just to get one of these blocking patterns going again i do suspect that will be happening in the 10 plus day time frame now if we do finish up having a look at the gfs ensembles this 12 side run hasn't fully come out but it will show the next 10 days quite well you can see precipitation over the next few days especially in the south and temperatures around or just above average still chilly days here or there as we saw with the uk matter right at the start but nothing too uh, majorly cold at all and then by the 29th 30th of december we see that big rise in temperatures throughout the last few days of december and the start of january balmy upper air temperatures potentially 10 degrees above average truly exceptional in terms of temperatures for it does start to drop away so you get precipitation is still there but it gets reduced so potentially in the far southwest uh, sorry, the part far south and east depending on the exact positioning of the high pressure and the southerly wind we could be seeing dry conditions sort of coincide with the milder temperatures or it could be wet definitely in the far north and west it does look like wetter conditions will prevail simply because of the temperature contrast if we do have a look at the 6z run which goes out a bit longer of course you can see right towards the end of the run much much colder runs are starting to appear of course as the spread does get bigger so as i said from maybe 3rd or 5th january onwards there is a decent potential we could start to see much colder outputs starting to appear and that's when we'd probably now be looking at the potential again 
for blocking patterns to re-emerge. Now if we do have a look at the 2 meters temperatures on the 12Z, you can see the truly upper air, uh, truly uh, warm uh, temperatures coinciding with those upper air temperatures. 29th um, temperatures around 14 or 15 degrees. Similar on the 30th, 14, 15 degrees potentially. Again, some are deviating and still 11, 12, 13 degrees on the 31st. Truly, truly mild uh, conditions for the end of December. And if we finally have a look at Glasgow, see how that does compare. Again, two meter temperatures are pretty chilly over the next three or four days as that cold air does sink southwards. Around freezing will just touch above over the next sort of three or four days of the Christmas period. So it could be pretty festive uh, towards Scotland, but mainly over higher ground for snow. Low lying areas, more likely just frost. And there could be some snowfall, but at this stage, nothing massive. At the same time that milder air does come to the south, you see it does try to edge further northwards. But if it does take over, uh, it's still a bit uncertain. You can see some on summer members are much colder, but some are going to around 11 or 12. So we could see those balmy temperatures in the north, but this stage is looking definitely in the south, potentially in the north as well but it definitely does look precipitation will be taken over and if we do have a look at h 50 hp temperature and precipitation you can see it has got a lot of precipitation in around that period where those milder balmy southerly or southwesterly winds move in as the temperature contrast forms precipitation you can see cold at the moment and then we see that big rise only going around five maybe a couple degrees bigger than that than average um, so not quite as uh, warmer than average than in the south, but still really quite balmy. And that does continue right towards the end of the run with a lot of precipitation around, especially in the north. So, yeah, doesn't look like it's going to be particularly festive weather over the next week or so. But if you are looking forward to some snow, some colder conditions, I'm sure we'll have potential turning once again in the new year. And you can't rule out some really see cold weather in January. As the longer term climate drivers, quite a few of them are hinting towards colder conditions. Just unfortunately, over this festive period, it just didn't quite come off. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you have a Merry Christmas and stay safe out there. And I'll see you again for another video soon.